income tax paid as a responsibility and obligation of the assessee to pay the income tax so income tax is not a business expenditure loss by embezzlement of the cashier yes it is also not a business expenditure it is by the mistake of the employee underwriting commission on shares it is 20% is supposed to be add back to the net profit Hello everyone I am Arun Kumar lecturer in department of commerce and management Vidyashram first grade college the temple of excellence Mysore dear students welcome to this new session on unit assessment of companies in the previous session we discussed about what is company and what is types of company so in this session we will be solving few problems on assessment of companies so dear students the first problem following is the profit and loss account of a surya company limited for the year ending 31st march 2019 compute the company's total income for the assessment year 21 22 so he had given us the profit and loss account statement by using this profit and loss account statement we are supposed to compute the business income that is the company's income and the tax liability of the company so here you can see in the debit side legal expenses yes legal expenses is relating to business so yes business expenditure office expenses yes office expenses is also relating to business so business expenditure director's fees it is also relating to business expenditure yes commission and brokerage on loans obtained yes the commission and brokerage paid on loans obtained it is relating to business income tax reserve yes here income tax reserve is not a business expenditure it is not a business expenditure he mentioned that it is a business expenditure but it is not a business expenditure you are supposed to add back this income tax reserve to net profit next excise duty excise duty is a indirect tax and it will be considered as business expenditure next underwriting commission on shares it is 20% is supposed to be add back to the net profit how much 20% should be add back to the net profit 20% of 30000 next to income tax paid income tax paid as a responsibility and obligation of the assessee to pay the income tax so income tax is not a business expenditure this should also be add back to the net profit wealth tax paid again it is also supposed to be add back to the net profit depreciation business expenditure fair insurance premium business expenditure next net profit it is 1 lakh 83000 income side gross profit yes business income premium on issue of shares yes it is also business income and interest on securities so interest on securities comes under other sources not under business so what we are supposed to do this we are supposed to deduct it next commission so commission is also a business income next refund of income tax so here income tax paid is not a business expenditure refund of income tax is also not a business income so it is also not a business income so moving further to solve the problem here you can see additional information is given depreciation found to be excess by 5000 the company paid advance rupees 10000 and fair insurance premium includes 10000 insurance premium paid in respect of residential house so the first thing is depreciation found excess of 5000 that means here in the problem you can see the depreciation so depreciation 40000 he claimed but actually supposed to claim 35 but he claimed excess of 5000 so what we are supposed to do we are supposed to add back 5000 rupees of depreciation we are supposed to add back 5000 rupees of depreciation to the net profit next year the company paid advance of 10000 so any advance payment is paid it will not be considered as business expenditure next fair insurance premium include 10000 rupees of insurance premium paid in respect of residential house so here this 10000 should be add back to the net profit so net profit as per p and l account so what is the net profit given in the problem 1 lakh 83000 so 1 lakh 83000 is the net profit add disallowed items so few items are not allowed we are supposed to add back those items we marked in the problem right here we marked which are all the items 
which are disallowed that is other than business expenditures so in that income tax reserve yes that should be add back to the net profit 50000 and underwriting commission it is 24000 so 20% we will be considering as business expenditure the remaining amount will be we are adding back it to the net profit next income tax paid yes income tax paid is also not a business expenditure we are supposed to add back it to the net profit next wealth tax 30000 next depreciation so excess depreciation how much he claimed he claimed the excess depreciation of rupees here you can see rupees 5000 and we are adding it back to the net profit next one fair insurance premium so here the fair insurance premium includes the premium paid in respect of residential house so that 10000 should be add back to the net profit so now total the value it is 137000 so add 137000 with 183000 you will get the total of 320000 next less allowable expenses and other sources of income under that premium on issue of shares so any premium received that will be considered as other than business income so premium on issue of shares 55000 interest on securities it is 9000 next refund of income tax rupees 1000 total 65000 deduct 65 from 320 balance 255000 so the 255000 is called what business income so this is how we are supposed to find out the business income of a company moving further to know the total income of the company so the total income of the company income from salary is not given in the problem so it is nil income from house property it is also not there in the problem nil income from business and profession business income we have found it out that what is it business income it is rupees 2 lakh 55,000 so the business income is 2 lakh 55,000 so 2 lakh 55,000 income from capital gain so it is not given in the problem it is nil next income from other sources we have interest on securities is rupees 9,000 so interest on securities is rupees 9,000 so 2 lakh 55,000 plus 9,000 2 lakh 64,000 will be the gross total income so less deduction under section ATC to ATU so no deductions are there no donations is made no contribution is made towards any social activities so no deductions total income is rupees 2 lakh 64,000 so on this total income we are supposed to find out the tax liability of the company but in this problem just we are finding out the business income and the total income of the company in upcoming problems we will be solving the tax liability of the company so moving on to the next problem problem number two the following particulars are furnished by shiva and company limited and the profit and loss account for the year ending 31st march 2021 so office expenses yes business expenditure general expenses business expenditure advertisement business expenditure depreciation business expenditure exercise duty business expenditure income tax not a business expenditure that should be add back to the net profit fine and penalty yes it is also not a business expenditure because of the company's mistake business mistake they have to pay the fines and penalties director's fees business expenditure donation to ndf it is not a business expenditure it comes under deduction under section 80c to atu loss by embezzlement of the cashier yes it is also not a business expenditure it is by the mistake of the employee next donation to political party not a business expenditure damages paid for wrongful dismissal of md it is also not a business expenditure net profit 1 lakh 50 thousand profit side by gross profit 2 lakh income from house property not a business expenditure rupees 1 lakh 50 thousand we are supposed to deduct it next premium on issue of shares not a business income so moving on to solving the problem computation of business income for the assessment year 2020-21 net profit as per profit and loss account is rupees 1 lakh 50 thousand so add disallowed items so income tax 
rupees 5000 fine and penalty rupees 2000 next donation to ndf 10000 donation to political party it is rupees 10000 and damages paid for wrongful dismissal of md rupees 50000 so if you total it you will get 77000 so 150000 plus 77 you will get 227000 from that less allowable expenses and other sources of income so income from house property it is not relating to business so 150 minus premium on issue of shares 104000 total 254000 deduct 254000 from 227000 you will get minus 27000 so this minus 20000 is called loss from business minus 27000 is called loss from business next computation of total income of the company computation of total income of the company income from salary it is not there income from house property yes it is given 150000 income from business and profession we have loss under business of rupees 27000 so income from capital gain is also not there income from other sources is also not there so total it minus 27000 from 1 lakh 50000 you will get the balance of 1 lakh 23000 that value is called gross total income next less deduction under section 80 c to atu in that donations comes under section 80 g so donation to ndf 10000 100% deduction donation to political party 10000 100% deduction so deduct this 20000 balance 1 lakh 3000 this 1 lakh 3000 is called total income so this is how we are supposed to find out the business income as well as the total income so here on 1 lakh 3000 we are finding out the tax payable by the company so total income is rupees 1 lakh 3000 so total income 1 lakh 3000 at 30 percent of tax how much you will get 30,900 next add education says at 4% on 3,900 so 3,900 into 4% you will get 1,236 so 1,236 plus 30,900 32,136 will be the tax payable by the SSE that is by the company so this is how we are supposed to find out the business income of the company and the total income of the company and tax payable by the company so with this i will wind up this session in the upcoming sessions we will solve few more problems relating to assessment of companies so until then thank you all